Hey, I'm Ryan Fisher, and uh, I'm here to show you guys how to be a little better at your kipping and butterfly pull-ups. So, first one I'll start with is the kip. Um, when you're ready to do these pull-ups, this is definitely something that you want to start with the kip and then work your way into the butterfly motion. Both being completely different styles. So, your kipping pull-up, I've noticed the biggest mistakes on these is just your foot placement on the pull-up. So when I want to do my kick, easiest way to go about this is to find your hollow body position, which is mimicked by doing a hollow rock. Be something like this, and not this, which gets correlated into your most common mistake. And you get the swing. So to get people to stop doing that particular motion, you want to tell them to do that hollow body. Now, once you get that, you want your feet to be forward in your hollow body, and you want the exact opposite motion behind, which looks like so. Call the forward C and the backward C. Now, when you come up, get your chin over the bar. As you come up, you want your feet to come up. And then as you come down, you want your feet to go behind. Connecting these things is absolutely crucial. You will leave your feet out in front. And when you are learning this type of pull up, you want to exaggerate that motion as much as possible. Then from here, hollow rock, push away, push away, back. Keep forward, keep behind. If at any point my feet do not stay forward and they are flat and down, I cannot build momentum and go into my second pull up, which looks like this. So that motion right there we call it dead in the water. Now, I want to go into that butterfly motion, which is where a lot of you guys are like, yeah, let's go into that butterfly, go a little faster on our workouts. Everything is kind of flipped. So the absolute best way to teach this movement, in my opinion, is to teach everybody to go only halfway up. So you're gonna hop on the bar. You're gonna load your feet to your butt, and then kick up, and then bring your feet back to your butt. Kick up, pull up. So feet to your butt, kick up, and when you kick up, your feet, I mean your arms pull. So uh, legs loaded, kick, and pull. Legs loaded, kick, and pull. If at any point your feet are dead in the water, or flat, you will not build momentum, you will not go back up for a second rep. So instead of the kip, where your feet are always forward, the butterfly, your feet are always back. So I'll show you that one more time. Feet loaded. And I'm here, I can still go. But if I'm here, everything dies. So, it's very, very crucial to keep your feet up, locked and loaded for the butterfly pull-up. As you kick forward, your arms pull. As you come back down, you load those feet back up. And on both pull-ups, your main goal is to keep your feet from being uh, flat. At any point, you're flat, you're dead in the water. You're never gonna be able to build momentum for a second breath. Um, Back to this butterfly pull-up motion. If you want to get a little bit better at this, you go from the 50% mark to the 75% mark to chin over the bar. And as you build that momentum, the higher, the higher you go, the faster you'll be able to go because you'll be getting more momentum out of that circle. Um, the very most advanced phase, very most.
the more advanced phase of this movement would be the chest of our butterfly pull up, which I consider myself to be one of the better people in the world at that. And my secret to that is basically the exact same thing that I've been teaching you guys, except I do an exponentially wider grip. So if my regular pull up, my camera person, if you guys if you could just come around over here, I'll show you my regular butterfly pull up grip. And my chest of bar is going to be all the way to the end over here. So this hand you didn't move, my right one. But I make my grip a little wider. Now as I'm doing my pull up, I feel like the whole thing is almost the same. And I'm just raising my chin up with a wider grip. I puff my chest out, kind of just showing it off a little bit. And that just gets me my collarbone more. Just enough to make it legal. And that's how I feel like uh, busting those butterfly pull ups will best suit you to go as fast as absolutely possible. Um, as you get better at the pull up, that kick, that big loaded butt, does wind up getting smaller and it can wind up almost being straight legged and just mainly all hips. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just go ahead and send me an email on the link. Uh, or a comment, and I'm help, happy to uh, answer any of those questions. Over and out.